Welcome back uh, to day six of your seven days to having the life, living, body and business that you know is possible by accessing your true nature. Today I wanted to look at an attitude of gratitude and before we dive into that I want to tell you just how grateful I am that you've stuck with this and are willing to make the demand to do whatever it takes to get out of your own way so that you can have the life that you know is possible right now. Please honor and acknowledge that you're doing a great job and that it takes an incredible amount of courage to get out of your comfort zone and really step into a new place of being where you not just strive but have a life that is thriving and exuberant and abundant. So you keep going, we're almost there. I am so grateful for you and your willingness to break down the barriers of everywhere where you're defending, not having the life that you know is possible, and to really step into thriving in every aspect of living. That being said, I want to dive right into the attitude of gratitude. I want you to write down 25 things today on the next page in your journal of what you can be grateful for. And it really isn't as hard as you may think. Um, you know, living in South Africa, we often have uh, rolling blackouts or water supplies that are being cut. So for me, I am grateful to have electricity. I'm grateful that I can sit in my home here and reach you no matter where you are in the world through technology. I'm grateful to be able to have a beautiful hot bath at the end of the day on these chilly winter nights. I'm grateful for the food that's on the table. Write down 25 things that you can be grateful for right now that don't require any effort, that are just there and that we sometimes take for granted. And I'd like at least 10 of those to be around aspects of your body that you're grateful for. Uh, we often take that for granted too, don't we? And it's just such an amazing machine. It's like we don't have to even think about breathing. Our body just breathes on its own. And what if we could literally breathe in the gratitude of having a body, of being alive, of knowing that our uh, digestive system will take whatever it requires from the food that the farmers are growing for us and the animals that have have given up their lives so that we can have the protein in our bodies if we choose to eat meat and eliminate everything that it no longer requires. Okay. Stop the this recording now and just write down 10 things around what you can be grateful for about your body and if you have more than 25, great. Go for it. For me, uh, the beauty of having gratitude of my life and things that I can be thankful for um, that just come to me as this great gift and contribution from the universe is that judgment really cannot exist in a space of gratitude. What change could you create by being thankful for the person that said something mean to you today? or for the challenges that are showing up for you that really get you out of that space and into creating something greater because of it. So look for the gift in everything, even in the judgment. And I wonder what else is possible from the space of having an attitude of gratitude. I can't believe that we're already at the end of the week and tomorrow we're going to go into the last area of the seven day series and look at the four cornerstones of creating a phenomenal life of honor, trust, vulnerability, and kindness, and allowance. Enjoy playing with gratitude today. And remember, I'm so grateful that you showed up to play with me. I'll see you on the other side.